Are you Mr. Heathcliff? Yes. Well, I'm Mr. Lockwood. Your new tenant at the Grange. I'm lost. Can I get a guide from amongst your lads? No, you cannot. I've only got one and he's needed here. Oh, well then. I'll have to stay till morning. Do as you please. Quiet! Come! Thank you for your hospitality. Could you extend it to a cup of tea? Shall I? You heard him ask for it. Thank you. I presume the amiable lady is Mrs. Heathcliff. Yes. Yeah. Would it be taxing your remarkable hospitality if I sat down? I hope my hospitality will be a lesson to you to make no more rash journeys on these moors. As for staying here the night, I don't keep accommodations for visitors. You can share a bed with one of the servants. Thanks. I'll sleep in a chair, sir. No, no. A stranger is a stranger. It's so rare in this house that I hardly know how to receive them. I and my dogs. Joseph, open up one of the upstairs rooms. Bridal chamber. Nobody slept here for years. It's a trifle depressing. Can you light a fire? Yeah, no fire burning yonder, great. Chimbley's all blocked up. Yeah. Very well. Thanks. Good night. Kathy, Kathy, that was it. Kathy? Oh, I must have 
need to him. Forgive him, Steve. Get out of this room. because the falling snow shaped itself into what looked like a phantom. But it was nothing. It was Cathy. Who is there who died? Oh, no, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in phantoms sobbing through the night. Poor Cathy. I don't believe that life comes back once it's died and calls again to the living. No, I don't. Maybe as I told you a story, you'd change your mind about the dead coming back. Maybe you'd know, as I do, that there is a force that brings them back. If their hearts were wild enough in life. Tell me a story. Forty years ago, when I was young, in the service.